You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? up with this call to me over a rope hey. I wait on a shore for the one I adore I
This place is huge. Random raps number two. Because it's what I do. the terminal, huh? Don't worry, darling. I'll astrally project myself into the maze to protect you.
Finest sniper in the wasteland. Shut up. Stug muffin.
all music is magic. But music performed live is a greater magic. Like how comedy is only funny if there's someone there to laugh. No amount of post-production wizardry can equal the synergy, the lossless, simultaneous, sometimes flawed craft work. This is Quartet Out with Oh Boys Try to Get Along.
Just remember something. Check out this note. prison. What I gotta do? Man, why do I gotta do the boring shit? Is it safe? Can you open this door? The Labyrinth Navigator is ugly. Cooperation test failed. <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Another locked door. Open it, homie. Hit the button! Ain't got all day shit. I can open that! Did you see that, boss? Neat. I'm sorry about hard scrabble, Slick. He's, well, you know. Guess I'll go collect my winnings then.
Nice knowing you, Courier. Adios. Hey! Is that the right one? No! Oh, for fuck's sake, let me do it. Yeah, boss? Which part? These post switches, right? Confirmed. Let's see what we have here. The post switches seem to correspond to the, the pods across the way. Guess I'm ready when you are. Switch is activated. Oh, maybe I can open that door for you. Um, wrong button. Let me try this other one. Wait, I see a trap. That's the third one over on the bottom. Door opened up there on the side. Let me get the next door. And is that a shotgun? That's dangerous. What's that? Okay, give me a second. I'm ready. There you go. Huh, figured that would open that door.
Task complete. Exit door unlocked. Collect your winnings. About that last door. Switches deactivated. Damn, baby! You're so talented! <laughs> Don't start calling me the button master, though. Huh? Well, I was raised in Lake Havasu City. Have you been? Don't go unless you like kissing ass. Anyway, had it good for a while in the Royal Snipers Guild. Popping Mirelurks and Raiders off of London Bridge for Sovereign Queen Lizardbutt the Third. The Lizardbutts have held the bridge for generations, by divine right, according to them. One night at the Book and Bind, uh, it's like a bar, but they call it a public house. I was overheard making a rude comment about Her Majesty. Her Majesty didn't approve of my comment, the gist of which involved a comparison of her face to a gecko's puckered anus. So she spun the wheel. It's a big wheel with a variety of horrible punishments written on it, and wherever it stops, that's what they do to you. So, halfway through slipping off my festivities, I was rudely awoken by her guards who blindfolded and tied me up onto the back of a Brahmin. Which they sent off in a random wheel decided direction, in which I would soon expire due to whatever calamity. Back then, I used to always keep a small blade in my mouth for emergencies such as this. The guards' search wasn't thorough enough to find it. I managed to saw my way out of my bindings and escape after I stopped hearing them and thought they wouldn't be able to see me anymore. I figured I'd take the scenic route to Vegas, but I only saw wastes and threat. Stopped to pick over a gas station on I-40, found a little wine and got a little sleepy. Slaver gang swept me up. Took me to Hollow Hills, used me for a while. I got picked out by a special customer for delivery to Cottonwood Cove. Slaver that was supposed to deliver me was James. Halfway to Cottonwood, he told me he was quitting and I was free. I told him I liked his style. We haven't been apart since. Yeah, it was really something. But I'd miss James way more if anything ever happened to him. Yep. Yeah, boss? It seems so. You got a problem with that? Think I don't know that? <sighs> Sorry. No one else is gonna scour the waste for loot on my behalf. And I plan to be otherwise occupied for some time. So I gotta get while the getting's good. Yep. Hey -o. Ain't much to tell, Chief. I always kicked ass. Never bothered taking names. Done a lot of muscle jobs from Barstow to Flagstaff. My hand-to-hand -hand skills are as fast as my flow now. Built up a little fame on the streets. Slaver Gang came up one time with all this cognac. Talking about come bust heads with us, Tiger. All this cash and dames and shit. I didn't know any damn better. Ran with them for a while. I always fit in with a rough crowd, but these slavers, man... Worse than knaves and ruffians combined. Thought taste the worst there was, but scoundrels in charge of Vault 54 give them a run for their caps. Anywho, I left the slavers. Met my girl Splinter, and we living happily ever after right now. You feel me? Hart was in the slaver gang too. He knew even less better than me. But he's at it though. 
I found Jefferson and Adrian near Good Springs on the way here, and they kind of stuck for a bit. I'm so psyched and so scared. If I had been in charge down here, things would have gone differently. Get out of my brain! I'm Dr. Martin, and this is my confession. When Tyler Rose's article linked my esteemed colleague Santos von Signor with the cave cough epidemic, something clicked in my mind. The man was such an asshole that I felt it must be true. He specialized in pest control and viewed most people as pests, too. I wanted to expose him. My betrothed and I concocted a scheme to distract him so I could search his lab for proof. Playing to his vanity, we forged an invitation to appear as himself on West Siders. They sometimes have elite cameos on the popular show in service of some agenda or other. We gave him short notice to meet on Friday afternoon with the producers, who always preview the evening's show at that time, when interruptions are forbidden. As science dean, Santos had issued my lab grant and never failed to remind me liked to conscript me for menial tasks in his lab. All week, Santos had bragged about running some important final tests that Friday. As we hoped, he insisted I monitor his tests and touch none of his stuff while he went to an important appointment. If the red light comes on, press the red button. If the alarm sounds, pull the plug. I did some multitasking. Found a fascinating SOB document with Do Not Print printed across the front page. PWND, Project for a Wonderful New Day, it's called. I don't think there's anything wonderful about mass mind control, corruption, and eugenics. I scanned the document to deal with later and kept snooping found an encrypted file open on his terminal, schematics for his dermal alloy radiating particulate agitator, the very reactor in final testing, a device that could remotely heat certain metals, like the ones people have been breathing for months. I just about shat myself and Santos came back before I could copy it, but I got a good look at its power circuits, we need to pick up the pace. The alarm never I can't sounded. Be down here when I assume the reactor I'm tests not. were successful and it's ready to fire. Oh. PWND didn't mm -hmm. specify the timetable. I wrote a script that night that would upload PWND to many websites simultaneously to maximize visibility before the Friend inevitable crackdown. Free, because I'm on a which occurred only a few Round hours three. later. Since then, I've sealed myself in my lab, tripping the radiation lockdown. No one's getting in or out of here except through four feet of lead. It's only a matter of time before they start trying. That's how much time I have to sabotage the reactor. 
A power line conduit runs beneath my lab through the shielding. That's my ticket. The reactor is designed to distribute power surges to the vault's energy grid up to an extent. A simple rewiring will cause it to misfire. I can only hope this will buy us some time. I told Julia to get as far away as she can. They're going to be looking for leverage against me. Be safe, sweetness. With any luck, the storm will pass, and I'll hold you in my arms again. Stop this break. 